I follow people around in the woods for a living. I go on really cool hunts in really remote places, and I capture memories more than anything. My name is Nick Treherne, and I am a photographer in the hunting and fishing space. I'm a hunter that carries a camera. I'm on the road probably 250 to 300 days a year, all across North America, the world. Whether it's working with brands or magazines or retailers, just documenting hunts. Most of my photos are catalogs, billboards, trade show banners, um, once in a while social media, but usually the kind of bigger pieces is where they're typically used. My style of photography is basically just being raw, real, never staging anything. Just doesn't matter how good it looks, how bad it looks. If it happened on the hunt, I'll capture it. Where do you think that style comes from? Um, probably comes from the fact that I'm a hunter. Photography was always second and it's only a means so I can hunt more. Well, made it to camp. Took a long 12 and a half hours to get up here. Um, Weather is a bit socked in, but we're in the coastal mountains, so the weather forecast is rain with a chance of fog, with a chance of cloud, with a minimal chance of sun. So set up the tent, maybe have a bite to eat, and see if there's something to chase around this evening. A typical year looks like chasing the seasons, fishing in warm places in the winter, Jumping down to New Zealand for the roar in the spring, back for bear season, alpine backpack hunts through the summer, then your elk, deer, moose, and all that fun stuff through the fall. This week I'm going on a personal mountain hunt. It's just for me, it definitely is different than the rest of the year just because I leave the cameras behind. I don't think about it. The focus is nothing but the hunt, the experience, the suffering, ultimately the kill. The golden rule is there's no cameras allowed, ever. I'm not gonna take an iPhone photo of a landscape. I don't care if there's a cool grizzly bear feeding there. It's, I'll do a quick selfie for the photo album once I've shot something, but all hunts are a camera free zone. How does that apply to us? <laughs> Who knows about you two? This is weird. When it's time to hunt, personally, I take that more serious than any photo would do justice for, like, internally. We got the first coat of the trip. 80 yards. It's looking like a nanny, but unfortunately, the second we saw it, the clouds blew in, so just gotta wait to get a better look. Oh, there we go. Now that it cleared up, it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I see nine growth rings. This thing doesn't seem too spooked, so hopefully it just keep, keeps feeding over there. It's broadside 100 yards away. If nothing else, not bad for the first morning.
starting to get into the groove of things. As per normal, there's awesome weather, so we're sitting up in the Alpine waiting for the lift and hopefully get glassing pretty soon. So I was just texting a buddy who I drug up here last year and he thought I was mentally certifiable for coming up here in the first place and couldn't see how any human would come back up here. So I just sent him a selfie from a spot we sat last year to rub in that this is what I do on my days off. I'll come up here for work, but I'm definitely coming up here with a tag in my pocket for myself. The vast majority of my life is worrying about others, enjoying others' success, other emotion. And as much as I love photographing it, having the camera between you and your subject removes you from the overall experience because even though the hunt's unfolding, you're right there for it all. You're worried about the photo more than the hunt. So I'm just there to go head first into the hunt. downfall is he's miles away across a very steep mountain so gonna keep picking it apart and hopefully we find one closer if not it might be a very long play and a night under the stars or rain or clouds but it's the first like true big billy of the trip so it's awesome draw and things weren't looking good to get a shot off and I was actually glassing for a route over the ridge over to them and we just spotted three more goats in a really killable spot not even a quarter of the distance away so hopefully we got some billies because something's gonna die if they are Three for sure, like that would be legal, but there's one bedded behind the one. I can't tell if it's a fourth adult 
more kid. It's just like kind of elongates one of the ones. Oh, that one just stood up, feeding. Hopefully that kind of sparks him. Nope, he's back down. Damn it. finally broke for the first full day and we went from seeing one to five goats a day to probably over 20 so far so they're definitely moving now there is four of them making their way this way as we speak I'll confirm as he gets closer but One's looking decent for sure. Just still a little bit skeptical about this direction, so I'm not sure if they're getting our wind or what, but don't want to move too much just yet. Bottom right. Five fifty-two, day five of the hunt. Goat down. Man, I gotta be more stoked. Like, look at this. Oh, you're angry. not the most common opinion but the main thing for hunting that I love that draws me to it is success 
You say that you got into photography to hunt more then? 100%. It's the only reason and the day I can't photograph hunts, I'm no longer a photographer.